Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, you know don't you, you know. Right, straight in, no messing about. Just seen an interview with Shannon Courtney and Corgan Cassius, done on World Suicide Prevention Day. I think that's brilliant, and it's her first interview since a loss, but is that more good PR to get yourself out there? Or is it genuine? I don't know what to believe because it's social media, but let me just leave you with this. Shannon Courtney says she's depressed and devastated and all that. Everybody would be after a loss, especially when you think, think you're going to win. But before the fight, she signed a form to say that there's nothing wrong with her, no mental health, no injuries, no this, no that, blah de blah Made the weight all right and all that, carry on. So you sign that form and then you fight. Then you lose and then we've got this depression mental health thing. So I don't know. She said she's been out with her mates and she's been promoting CBD oil, blah de blah is that somebody who's got mental health issues? I don't know. Personally, I don't believe it. But if she has, well, how's she going to get a license again? Why, why would the board license somebody with mental health issues who said she's got mental health issues? Why, how would she get a license again? I don't know. Has she shot us any foot? I don't know. Is she an exciting fighter? Yeah. Was it a great fight? Yeah. Do I want to see it again? Yeah. Has the stock gone up? Probably, yeah. So it's not the end of the world, is it, Shannon? So, but I don't believe the mental health thing. I think too many people are using it for their own advantages. Dave Allen's used it before, Tyson Fury. When you get in a pickle, people can't keep throwing mental health, mental health issue out there. So, but it is what it isn't. So it's a bit like, I can explain it. I don't like to put this in, this race issue with Black Lives Matter thing, but all them people, them black people that were looting all them shops, the police were just stood there doing nothing because they didn't want to do anything because they're being called racist now. Nobody now will be able to say, I don't agree with you, Shannon. You're not depressed because then they'll say you're a hater, you're bitter, you're jealous, uh, you're, you're, you're a troll. You know, things like that. But on Porky's Corner, we just give an opinion. I'm not really bothered what anybody thinks. I've got enough mates in the world. I don't need any more mates. We're just going to tell it straight. I don't believe it, all right? I think it's a PR job. They're all working it, so it's, that's how it looks to me. I mean, that's, that's how I look at it, it's my opinion. So, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If she has got mental health issues, I wish her all the best. But like I said, I don't believe it, so, all right? So, peace out. I wish her all the best though, and I will be watching her career very closely, or from afar. All right, peace out.